for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am doing the YouTube beauty community tag. So if you guys would like to stick around and hear my answers, keep on watching. So I've seen a lot of others doing this tag, the beauty community tag, and I thought I would go ahead and jump on in and do um, the questions and answer them for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started into this. I'm not even sure. I will put a link down below because I believe Marlene Babaglam over 50 mentioned who the person was that started the tag. I'm going to go on Marlene's channel and see and get the link off of her and put it down below of the person that actually started this tag. All right, first question. What are your favorite videos to watch here on YouTube? I feel like I like a variety. If we're going to talk about like in the beauty itself in general, you know, because there's like a variety of videos I like to watch on YouTube. But if we're sticking with just beauty related, it is definitely get ready with me. It's like I really love watching other people apply makeup. There's just something about it. What it is for me is I learn some ideas, learn some tips. Also, I get to see how the products work out for them and get an idea if it's something I might be interested in, in buying. Also, I think it's just seeing how other people and the way they create their own art. You guys know I am somebody that really thrives on believing makeup is the art. It is an art form. This is our canvas. And I always say to people, I don't feel like anybody should really tell anybody how to create their art. I don't think there is any rights, wrongs, or, you know, I mean, as long as you love something and you, what you're doing, I love reviews. I, I really do. I think that's, that's one thing I do really like is reviews. Uh, also, because I get to hear more about the product and how well it turned out or worked out. And you just, you learn from that. I think a lot of it is a learning thing for me that I really enjoy in some of the videos. I do enjoy hauls, skincare. I love watching videos on skincare. I watch, I've been watching a lot of Retina A ones because I'm really thinking about stepping into Retina A, but not 100% sure I do use retinol. Uh, I might step into retinoid next instead. I'm not sure which way I'm doing it, but I love skincare videos. Because I learn a lot from those. What are your favorite videos to film? I think my favorite videos to film is actually review videos. I do. I really enjoy sharing with you guys of a product or item, whatever it may be. I like to do my own research. I like to just give my own input and be a part of my experience with whatever the item is. So I really love filming my review videos. Obviously, I love doing a haul, sharing with you guys what I got, but review. I think review, you know, something something new, something exciting maybe too, you know, or something new to me. What are your least favorite videos to watch? Oh, okay. Uh, well, right now, I will say some of my least favorite videos that I will not watch. I think I watched a couple and then it was just like just a no for me anymore is the videos where we're seeing people like you know we're seeing some mixing like I'm gonna mix all 50 of my foundations and let's see what it does for entertainment probably for some people I get that because everybody has their own different of what they like to watch but for me when I'm watching beauty videos I want to learn a little bit more I I, I want to, if I want to be entertained, I like to look for the other videos to be entertained. Some of the ones I used to watch and enjoyed watching on here on YouTube, like the bigger YouTubers have lost their way. I feel like maybe for the younger generation, they're enjoying it. And you know, that's great. Cause like when you're younger, I mean, I get that part, but you know, that I think that's for me where they lost me. It's their they're going in that direction and I'm just sort of over all of that. <laughs> this does not annoy me. I just don't watch that many. It's probably like most people are saying the unboxing. See, I get BoxyCharm, but I don't share my BoxyCharm videos with people like what I got. B 
because I feel like there's so many out there. I mean, like once you see a couple of them, sometimes, you know, if there's certain people that you really uh, have a connection with, you would like to hear their opinion maybe. But after a while, yeah, I, I can't get into those. Also, like when talking about reviews, yeah, like the subculture palette when it first came out or any any new palette that's really big coming out you know you don't, you see so many of them and I get that a lot of people don't really want to maybe watch all of them because you've seen one or two you've seen them all kind of how they feel so I get that I don't mind because it's going to depend on the person sometimes but boy, does that make it hard because somebody like me, I love sharing those kind of videos sometimes. <laughs> and it's like, I don't want to, you know, bore anybody, but I guess it's, we all have a different opinion on those kind of things. So I still watch those. I just watch so many of them. I don't watch them all, obviously. I don't think any of us watch all of them. If we did, my goodness, holy cow, we'd probably be taking a couple days worth of watching a video on one palette. So, but I just pick and choose certain ones, you know, here and there. What is your favorite part of the beauty community? You guys, like you who are watching me right now, whether you create videos or you don't create videos, it's you guys, like the communication, the chatting, uh, teaching each other something, um, commenting on something, the conversation, you know, the conversation itself, you guys, that's the best part. And that's what I really love because when I come on here and I see all these comments coming in, I mean, I remember when I first started, it was like, you know, like barely anybody commented or you get maybe one or two. And it's just astonishing to me to get all the comments and the comments itself. It's not like, great video, thumbs up. You know, I do get some of those, but a majority we're talking, we're having a conversation, you know, with each other. So I really love that part. So yeah, whether you're a creator on here or not, it's, it's really you guys, like the community itself in our conversations and connection. What is your least favorite part of the beauty community? I think I would agree with some when I heard about like YouTube, but there's sometimes some things I'm not favorite of with YouTube. And it would more have to do with like what they allow to be shown on YouTube and like let it slide off compared to, you know, I think my least favorite part in the beauty community would probably have to be if there would be any drama flared up um, and it could be any range, you know, cause like obviously like the bigger YouTubers, there's been lots and lots and lots of drama, but they are bigger, I guess. And it comes with the whole territory. It's a little scary because yeah, you think about, well, what if I became big like them, you know, and how all that becomes. So probably, you know, sometimes seeing, the drama out there. All in all, there's not really much of anything I can really fully think of. For except sometimes, yeah, if you if you see any kind of drama, and it's mostly like the bigger channels, I feel like I see myself. I just I stay clear from any sorts mostly. And I think if anybody really knows me, they probably would know that. What motivated you to start your channel? Um, my love for beauty, watching videos and seeing other people do, you know, their, their own little thing with it. I wanted to put my little thing out here on YouTube and share my beauty experience, like with makeup and hair care. Also, what the other reason I would say is, um, something of some form for me to have and enjoy. Uh, I love to listen to music. That's my other love is music. It came down to uh, my love for beauty and I wanted to find something, something else to do, you know, on, I guess in some sense, a hobby. I never thought of it that way because I always say it's more than that to me. It gives me something to do and keeps my mind occupied, uh, you know, so yeah. Who most inspires you on YouTube? I would probably... One person I can think of is Candy Johnson. She's one. She's a very inspirational woman out there. She is a very kind, loving person. 
She gives her whole full to the community. She is a very emotion, motivational speaker in a sense. You know, she puts things out there even on Twitter and tries to motivate you. Uh, you know, like you're beautiful. Always remember that you're loved and you're beautiful. Like she puts out these wonderful motivational uh, words and quotes. And I think that's one of the things that a lot of people love about her is they do know she just, she really speaks from the heart. She's a very, I hear from so many people when they meet her. I mean, she will be all smiles and give you the hug. And I think she wants to just embrace it. Do you know what I mean? So she's somebody that really inspires me. I probably, the other person that inspires me and she does have a channel here on YouTube, but she also has her own makeup line and you guys know it's, I don't know if you can see her back there behind me here or not, but it's Mally, Mally Beauty, Mally Ronkel. She inspired me in so many levels. She's another one that's a motivational speaker. Uh, but she's the person that really got me jump backing, backing. So that's not even a word. She got me jump back into makeup. It was her. Like in some sense, she did motivate me to start a channel. She has has a huge, and I know she doesn't even realize that. She probably doesn't. I don't know if she, or if she does, she probably doesn't realize to the extent of it. But she she had a huge impact, inspiration. For me in my life where I was like a little bit lost not knowing what I wanted to do so yeah if I don't think you'll be watching but you never know so yeah Mally you inspired me big time I will have to say big time what is the number one thing you would change about the YouTube beauty community what would I change I don't think there really I, I would have to say I don't think there really is anything I would change because Everybody is who they are. I mean, that is kind of what makes it great. I mean, just because I don't like something doesn't mean everybody else is not going to like it. Like, you might like something I don't like and vice versa, you know? I mean, that's the great thing. We learn from each other. We all have these different likes. We connect with different people. You know, we do. We connect with each other in different ways. Uh, you might not connect with another person like everybody else does, but you might connect with this other. You know, it's just, it's all such a variety out there in, you know, even to them things that I said that I wouldn't watch and it kind of, I lost any interest on some of the bigger YouTubers with them doing how many foundations and different things, you know, but that doesn't mean... You know, like, they, obviously they have other people enjoying them and watching their content. And that's kind of really what it is. I mean, you have a variety of people here who all have different opinions, different likes and looks, you know. And I think, you know, I don't think there's nothing. Why would you want to change it? That would be like, that would be like trying to change a person in, in a whole in general. So I don't, you wouldn't want to change that person. I mean, unless they were in, you know, really bad shape, like something major bad and you, you know, they're going down a bad path. Yeah. But I'm talking about in general as a person for most of, most of the part, you know, you wouldn't want to change a person in what they like and what they love to do. So honestly, there's nothing I would change. What is your advice for other creators, new people starting out a channel? Like if there's somebody out there right now sitting there thinking, I'd like to start a channel and what do I do? Where should I start? How do I go about it? Honestly, the, the main thing many people say is be yourself, be who you are. Make sure it's something you like. Let's say you don't mind makeup, but it's not a passion of yours. I think it really shows when somebody is really a makeup junkie, passionate kind of a thing compared to somebody that wants to come on here and show makeup and they're just doing it for money. Don't even expect the money thing. Don't even think. If your first thing is coming on YouTube and you want to make money, it's not going to work. It is not going to work. It is so true. It is so true because 
honestly, my first thing when I came on here was I wanted to share with you guys my passion and love for makeup. And I thought, I'd like to see if I can make a career out of this. You know, hey, I still might, but my focus was in on the wrong streak in my first couple years because that's what I was thinking of. And if that's all you're thinking of, mm -mm, it is not going to work. Obviously, when YouTube changed a lot of things, like how many minutes times and um, subscribers, and they were going to take your monetization away, I wasn't as upset as what I thought I would be because I thought, I, I don't know, I just, I wasn't. I think I had more time, and as time progressed, I had more time to think. And I'm like, honest to goodness, I love coming on here. I'm not going to stop coming on here just because of that. So what, whatever, I'm, my focus is going to be having fun and working as I go and what I could do better here and make you guys, um, you know, interested. So really, you don't have to have perfect lighting. You don't have to have all them lights and lamps. I just have a regular uh, light fixture there. I have a little mini that you use on the phone, ring light, and then probably my laptop's giving me, obviously right now, some of the light and usually does. That's it. Right now it's getting dark, but sometimes I will have the natural light. You don't have to buy all those things. You know, I'm on a webcam. I don't have a Canon camera or any of these bigger cameras that a lot of people do get. I would like to get one eventually. I don't know if I'd get the big one that everybody gets. I wouldn't even know what to do with the thing. And then I think I'm spending three, four hundred dollars on a camera. I'm not even know what the hey to do. And would I only use it for this filming? I mean, I might have to educate myself and learn from that maybe. Because I mean, I do see amazing pictures, and I wouldn't mind taking some amazing, amazing pictures of things. But you don't need all that right away. You, you can decorate the back however you want to, or do whatever you want in the back. You can, it's you know all cards are on the table for that. You know, you don't have to just be yourself and enjoy what you're doing. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to do a video. You really don't. You can use your cell phone. People use their cell phone, their iPads, any of that stuff. And do not, do not, because I am done with this myself. Do not do sub for sub. If I have somebody saying to me about sub to my channel, hey, like your channel, sub to mine, I sub to yours, sub to mine, I will say thank you very much. And some of the people might watch my videos, I don't know, but I usually say thank you very much uh, for, you know, joining my channel and I will pop over and check out, check out your channel. And I will. I usually sometimes, for most part, We'll check it out just to see a little bit of what it's about, and I'll go from there. Whether I will subscribe to you or not, it will just, that depends sometimes. Because a sub for sub, no. They will sub to you, and then guess what? 24 hours or even two hours after you subscribe to them, they unsubscribe to you back. And a lot of people that don't show their subscribers, um, I get a little iffy about. Because a lot of times when they don't show their subscribers, um, you know, like you don't know if they're subscribed to you or not. What do you love about YouTube as a whole? The only thing I can think of that I love YouTube as a whole, because I have some issues with YouTube, but what I love about it is we have people from all over the world that we can communicate with and get to know and the variety of things to watch on here and people to get to know and meet and just that alone. The, again, it goes down to the communication and the people in general that you can meet on here and you know it's all over the world it's not just in my country or in a few countries it's all over the world and you get to know each other you get to see each other's culture learn each other's culture inside somebody's life maybe or something like that so that's again it goes down to people and communication so that's probably the best part about YouTube I would say is the connections that you can make all over the world. So. I was actually looking on there. I was actually tagged by Kitty Cat Loves Makeup. 
who is Kathy. That's her name, Kathy. I'll put a link down below to her uh, channel. She's a lovely gal here on YouTube, and I really enjoy watching her. And um, so I will put a link down below to her channel. But she's the one who tagged me. I'm not going to tag anybody if you want to do this. By all means, I'll put the questions down below and you can go ahead and do it because most people that I know have been tagged already and have done it. So if you are just watching this and you, you know, you're thinking, hmm, maybe I will do it. I'll put that all down below and consider yourself tagged. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also share, uh, share the video around, get me out there and notice more uh, in the YouTube world. And if you just came and join me or you're just not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. You can come join me each week. Hit the subscribe button, but also make sure you hit the bell. The bell is so important. It will notify you of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So if you want to uh, continue on and uh, see what's new and going on on my channel, because I do share just different things in the beauty itself. So if you guys want to stay connected, that is a great way to stay connected and make sure you hit that bell. And you'll get a notification in the email of when my new video is uploaded and ready to watch. And as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. I love you guys. Bye.